please think twice before you go to Columbia to get veneers. Not saying all the doctors are, or whatever. I'm sure there's great doctors. But if you live here and a tooth pops off, where are you going to get it replaced? You're going to have to go to Columbia. It was like recommending for me to go to the Dominican Republic or to Colombia. And it's like, why would I go over there? Like, how do I, it, it, it's not like your breast. It's not like your ass. Like, this is your teeth. Like, this is something that you eat. Like, how, how would I? How would I know if those doctors is certified? Like certified. What happened if something happens to my teeth? Like one thing about when I got my teeth done, every single time I, I felt a certain type of way, I could call Dr. Catrice. Dr. Catrice. Dr. Catrice. Dr. Catrice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Catrice. Awesome. Any time, like any time, like like an emergency room or something. Like oh my God, Dr. Catrice. Like is this normal? Is this normal? And. It's just something so life changing. Welcome back to the Let's Talk Smiles podcast, where we dive deep into everything that you want to know about dental health and having a beautiful smile. I am Dr. Catrice Austin, your host and your smile coach. Today, we are going to tackle a very pressing issue. We're going to talk about the hidden risk of overseas veneers. Hey, listen. I know as a dental patient, as a dental consumer, it could be super easy to be tempted by the allure of getting cheaper dental procedures abroad. But recent events like Chrissy Monroe's dental emergency reminds us of the potential pitfalls lurking beneath the surface. Just yesterday, Chrissy Monroe, a very familiar face from reality TV, shared her shocking ordeal of a veneer popping off while simply eating a sandwich. This unfortunate incident underscores the importance of understanding the risk involved in seeking dental treatment overseas. So I want to start by having a discussion on the risk and the challenges of seeking dental treatment overseas. Now, I talk a lot about porcelain veneers and all the dangers on Instagram and other social media platforms quite frequently. And some of the feedback that I get is that many patients are enticed by the promise of having a perfect smile with porcelain veneers without breaking the bank. However, the reality is often far from ideal. From substandard materials to inadequate follow-up care, the dangers of overseas veneers are numerous and significant. If you ever wonder why they can offer veneers at such a really cheap rate, it's because a lot of times they're not using the quality materials that our dental labs that we use here in the United States use. I mean, think about it. You heard the saying, you get what you pay for. Well, the only way that someone can offer you a discount, I mean, significant discount like they do overseas is by using cheaper brands, cheaper porcelain brands. And and these are things that I want you guys to really pay attention to when you're seeking care overseas. In the United States, when we do porcelain veneer procedures, it's usually a two-visit procedure that are scheduled about a week and a half to two weeks apart, depending on the lab that your dentist is using. Versus overseas, a lot of times they advertise that the procedure is done in one visit, and the only way that that is possible is if they are making your veneers by way of a machine. We call it a CEREC machine uh, here in the United States, but they're machine made versus being made uh, custom made by a dental technician in our dental lab. So that's a big difference. Machine made versus handmade. Overseas, when the veneers are being made in the machine and they deliver the veneers in just one visit, Your dentist only has one shot to get it right. That means before you get back on that plane, they need to make sure that everything is glued in properly, that your bite is adjusted properly. I mean, they've got to be on point because once you get on that plane, there's no chance to follow up. There's no, you know, if your bite is not closing down properly 
or you can't floss between your teeth like you once could. If it's not discovered before you get on that plane, you are going to be stuck with adjustments being needed, but no one to turn to because your dentist is overseas. It just leaves a lot of room for inadequate follow-up care. And I, as a cosmetic dentist, know firsthand about the need to have follow-up care because I don't know if you guys know this, but two years ago, I got porcelain veneers, right? Uh, here in the United States. And um, when all of my veneers were put in on the second visit, as much as my dentist adjusted my bite while I was there in the chair, when the Novocaine wore off and I got home and it was time for me to close my mouth all the way, um, when it was time for me to chew again, I felt like my bite was off just a little bit. Now, luckily I'm a dentist. I have the tools to check my bite and it was off. And lucky, luckily again, I am a dentist. I was able to make adjustments to my own bite. I wouldn't try that at home, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, I have the tools to you know, do these things because I provide veneers on a regular basis to my customers. So I say all that to say, no matter who you are, no matter how good the dentist is, sometimes when the veneers go in, there are very important adjustments that need to be made so that your veneers don't pop off like the same thing that happened with Chrissy. So your veneers don't crack. You want to make sure that your bite is a hundred percent equilibrated, that it closes down the back teeth, the front teeth simultaneously without interference. If you just ignore that and you don't let your dentist know before you hop on that plane that your bite is feeling awkward or you hop on the plane right away and you don't even have the opportunity to share some of your adjustments that may be needed, you're going to get back to the United States and you're going to need a dental visit. And I'm just going to go ahead and be honest. A lot of dentists, when you call them here in the United States and they know that they didn't do your veneers and they were done overseas, you're going to have a little bit of a challenge more often than not finding a dentist who is willing to assume the care of someone who went to get treatment overseas. So I just got to be honest and let you guys know that a lot of dentists don't want to touch you after you've gone overseas because then we, as the provider here in the United States, we're assuming all the dangers and the risk uh, and the legalities of any complications that arise after you left that office. So we don't want to get involved with no mess because you went overseas to get your dental work done. No way. Now, one of the things that Chrissy Monroe shared in her Instagram video is not only did this just happen once, she shared that this happened three times. And she expressed that when she got the treatment over in Columbia, she was told that there would be a dentist right in New York City, in Queens uh, specifically, that if she had any problems uh, being back in the United States, that she didn't have to worry about flying back over there, that there would be someone locally to help her out in case of emergency. Well, surprise, surprise, Chrissy shared that that turned out to be uh, untruth, <laughs> which is going to be nice about it. She said that that didn't turn out to be true and she was kind of left high and dry when she had a dental emergency, and this time it involved the very front tooth. If you go to her Instagram, you'll see. She's being super vulnerable, putting herself out there on Instagram while she's sitting down getting her hair done with a missing veneer on her front tooth. Gotta love her for that. Well, here's the part where consumers really find themselves in the pickle. A lot of times when these dental emergencies happen, you want treatment right away. And when you've made the decision to seek care in another country, you're not going to get an emergency visit as fast as you would if you called a provider right here locally. 
a lot of times these dental clinics that are overseas have so much demand. They have so many clients that when you need a dental assistance, they're going to be booked up for weeks or months at a time. Uh, and, and then you have to also think about who's going to pay for you to go back over there to get an emergency taken care of. Are you going to fly all the way to Columbia to get a tooth glue back in? I mean, seriously, think about the cost of a plane ticket. Think about the cost of a hotel, Uber. Now the costs uh, that you initially thought you were saving are starting to add up. And I have to remind you again, Chrissy said that this didn't just happen once. It happened a second time and then a third time. So in retrospect, you would have had to fly back over three times at your expense because I know that these dentists aren't going to flip the bills for when you have a need for additional dental care. So I want you guys to think about that. There's initial fees and then there's fees to fix problems and you have to go back over there or you're going to have to find someone locally to glue it in. And guess what? We, uh, we as the dental providers here in the United States, we're not going to glue in somebody else's work for free. So be prepared that you're going to have to pay whoever you call to re-glue this tooth. And again, there are so many dentists, dental providers that don't want to get involved with someone else's mistakes. Uh, you may find yourself having difficulties finding someone to help you out. And I'm not trying to be a, a fear monger. You know, I'm not trying to uh, be a hater as well. Cause a lot of times people be like, Oh, you're just hating because you're losing business and they're going overseas. That's not it. My goal here at the let's talk smiles podcast is to help you make wise and informed decisions. That's why I have this podcast. That's why I write books and eBooks and uh, do webinars and all the things that I do to try to help you stay informed. So luckily, Chrissy uh, had a friend that knew someone that could immediately glue the tooth back in for her. Happened to be not too far away from that place, so she was able to get in and get emergency care as fast as possible, and I'm so happy for her. Now, uh, she was very gracious to give that person a shout out, when I went to that person's in an, uh, Instagram page, I'm not sure what kind of business it is. It looked like it, uh, the, maybe the girl was a teeth whitening specialist. Not sure if it was a bona fide dental office. Uh, I'm uh, not saying anything about the person that Chrissy went to. I don't know that business, don't know the girl. Uh, but I just want to just stress that because I see a lot of providers out there that are posing as veneer technicians, porcelain veneer technician, um, porcelain veneer specialists, and they don't have a dental degree. They did not go to school for four years undergrad, four years dental school, and they haven't taken advanced dental veneer training courses like I do. There's a lot that goes into providing porcelain veneers than just giving someone a beautiful shape and a pearly white color. I need you guys to know that a trained professional will be looking at symmetry and smile lines and making sure that the smile is balanced, that your occlusion or your bite is balanced. Uh, if there's any interferences because a tooth is too long or is too bulky and is not positioned properly, that is a recipe for a dental emergency. So I want you guys to be aware that it's super important to ask questions to your providers, whether they're in the United States and definitely overseas, you want to ask about their training. How often do they take veneer courses? When was the last time that they took one? Who was the teacher? Who's teaching them? It's super important. So as I wrap up this episode, I really want to make sure that I leave you with some guidance and solutions. Instead of risking your dental health overseas, consider seeking treatment right here in the United States from affordable financing options to 
Using experienced professionals, there are plenty of resources available to help you achieve the smile of your dreams without compromising your dental health. Listen, folks, don't gamble with your smile. I want you guys to take control of your dental health today by downloading my comprehensive guide for affordable dental care right here in the United States. From finding the right dentist to understanding your treatment options, this guide has everything that you need to make informed decisions about your dental care. You can download a free copy of my guide called Affordable Dental Care in the USA on my website, bipsmiles.com, and you can also find it in our show notes. Well, that's all, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in to this very important episode of the Let's Talk Smiles podcast. Remember, your smile is worth investing in, so don't settle for anything less than the best. Until next time, keep smiling. Welcome to the VIP Smiles 7-Day Healthy Smile Workout Challenge. Are you ready for a beautiful, healthy, and confident smile in just 7 days? Well, if you ever wanted to kickstart your journey to a stunning smile, get ready because this challenge is here to transform your smile into a winning smile. In just 7 days, you're going to uncover smile secrets that have your teeth looking fabulous. You're going to receive expert advice straight from a celebrity dentist. Picture this, you, a dazzling smile and tips from the queen of smiles, Dr. Catrice Austin, that's me, all without spending a dime. Our seven day challenge is here and guess what? It is totally free. No hidden fees, just loads of good vibes and a journey to a healthier smile. We're gonna make this journey a fun journey. Now here are four reasons why you should join our challenge. You don't wanna miss this. In just one week, you're going to experience bite-sized daily wisdom, which will be quick, practical lessons to elevate your oral care routine. You're going to get exclusive videos, which will be expert guidance from me right in your inbox every single day. You're going to have access to a supportive community where you'll have the opportunity to connect with fellow participants, share your experiences, and cheer each other on. And of course, what would a challenge be without having access to special offers? So join the challenge today and you'll be on your way to a healthier smile. See you in the challenge.